Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Married Life with Los and Des. My name is Carlos, this is my wife Desiree. We are the Rosados and we're here to talk about marriage. Today we're going to talk about part two of marriage maintenance, crisis prevention. And we're going to let Desi start it. Hey everybody. Um, so like Carlos mentioned, this is part two. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, you can go back in our channel and see the first part of this where we deal with uh, other topics. Um, but this is part two of just different things that you can do to maintain your marriage. And like we said in the first video, you know, you got to think of it just like your vehicle and other things that you have to take care of your body. You know, there's things that you do on a regular basis to keep your marriage healthy and to keep it um, strong and to keep the connection strong with each other. Yes. So um, the first topic we're going to deal with is dealing with issues that come up in your marriage, whether they're big or small versus ignoring them and this is a big deal uh that's not trying to be funny there but it is um you can you can ignore things and it's like that that saying you know the, it's the big elephant in the room you can only ignore mm -hmm. it for so long you know if there's something there deal with it you know the the earlier that you do this and and the more that you get used to doing this with each other the easier it gets we we are i think every marriage goes through that because i mean you're two people that are completely different learning to live together and you know growing into becoming one and you're going to deal with things you know you're going to deal with you know if one of you is emotional or touchy you're going to deal with little things and you know you might tend to ignore them it's it's so worth it to just you know just sit down and talk and be open and don't be afraid of um i don't want to say don't be afraid of hurting your spouse's feelings it's not really that but don't be afraid to be open that's the right way i want to say it don't be afraid to be open and say you know babe you know when this happened you know and you did this or you said this it just kind of it hurt me you mm. know and maybe i shouldn't have felt that way but i did mm. and it's it might seem like it's something so small but if you don't deal with that, those little things can fester. Yep. You know, I found that I used to be that person. I used to be the one that held everything in and, you know, just put up the front and just kept going. And then eventually I'd just blow up or I would just withdraw, you yeah. know, and go ahead. Yeah, a big part of, uh, of getting this one down is keeping the lines of communication open. So you, if you can work on that part of your marriage, communication is huge. Um, you guys can work things out. You can you can talk through things. You know, um, I've mentioned this in previous vi videos. If you're angry, don't don't talk right away. Don't say what you gotta say. You know, cool down, step away, and wait a while. Wait till you're calm, and then come and and uh, talk, and and tell your spouse uh, what's going on. But um, a, a big thing on on uh, taken on this uh, issue is communication because if your lines of communication are open and you guys are used to communicating things you know you're gonna deal with stuff you know you're it, it, it's gonna you know it's not that you know things don't happen and 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 they're not challenging to deal with yes you're you're gonna have your challenges but it's gonna be easier to go to your spouse, you know, since you two are on the same boat and you're used to dealing with stuff yeah. and you're used to coming together. And, and Des and I, we've, we've gotten to the point where, you know, we've done it so much for so long a time that, you know, we're not, and we're not the perfect couple. <laughs> we, we are not the perfect no couple, but we have worked hard at, um, really, um, coming together and, and, um, we've mutually agreed to handle stuff we've agreed to handle stuff versus you know we've been there where we're like does said we've been there where we have left stuff uh just lag and we'll deal with it tomorrow the next day maybe next week and and we're both in torment you know we're both angry <laughs> going to bed angry stonewalling you know and it's just the worst home and uh atmosphere yeah. you know so dealing with small or big dealing with stuff right away is is huge yeah. to um getting your marriage on the right track 
Yeah, I, I'll say this for if you deal with bigger issues though, like say you're not used to doing this and you've just gone a long time where you just don't deal with things and you just keep putting on the happy face or some people will call it keeping the peace, you know, just just know that even if it's hard, even if it's if you don't even know where to start, you know, sometimes you might have to get help. Sometimes you might have to find a counselor or somebody that you trust. You mm -hmm. know, um, if you're if you feel like you can't talk to your spouse, you know, if you're not if your spouse is maybe aggressive or just defensive or whatever, and you just don't even know how to approach them, I would get some help. You know, find somebody that you can confide in that that can help you with your relationship and just can help you guys to break through that that you know those walls and the ice or whatever it is that you want to call it to be able to then come together and and deal with this and yeah. and the more that you deal with with it you know you, like we said at the beginning the easier it gets it does get easier as mm -hmm. you continue to determine yourself that you're gonna no matter what it is we're gonna come together and mm -hmm. we're gonna work this stuff out you know right so um second topic here is have fun together and that is a huge one. Mm -hmm. We had to learn that at the beginning, especially, you know, after becoming parents and having three little ones, you can get so caught up with the role of being mom and dad. And that is, that's a huge blessing. I'm not taking anything from that because I wouldn't trade that for the world. I loved having our kids and just mm -hmm. being mom and dad. But, you know, you can get caught up in that so much where you lose focus of of husband and wife you can mm -hmm. lose focus of the fact that you it was you guys first before you yeah. had your kids so and, and on the guy end you can get caught up in focus on work too much and not so much on the marriage yeah so you want to do th find things that you like to do together and be willing to try new things you know you might find that there's something that you didn't you've never tried before that and you think oh i would never want to do that or that sounds stupid or boring you know but be willing to try it, especially if it's something that your spouse wants to try, you know, be willing to say, you know what, I've never done this, but let me try it and see. And we've done that. And I pretty much every time we've walked away, like, wow, that was really fun. And mm -hmm. I'm glad we did that, yeah. you know, and it, and something about having fun together, it just, it puts such a, it's like a spark in your relationship. You know, you're, you just, you have the best time, you're laughing together, mm -hmm. you're, you know, you're, you're, you're just doing whatever that is, you know, whether it's, the, we go shooting, we got to do that again, <laughs> or whether, you know, just try the anything. Beach. We got to do that again. Yeah. Whatever it is, you know, everybody's different at, you have different interests, you know, yeah. go to amusement park, I don't know, whatever you find, um, just, just try to use your imagination, you know, yeah. and if there's not, obviously right now there's not a lot of things that you can do this a lot of things are closed but you know you can be creative there's a lot of outdoor things you can do right now and just you know do what you can have a picnic out in a park somewhere and mm -hmm. just pack a lunch together and enjoy the time or by the beach i don't know that's just a thought but you know yep. just be creative be yep. creative in it and and find new things you know uh, be kids <laughs> you know yep. find your youth again you know <laughs> and, and it, it's it's awesome when you can have fun with the person closest to you yeah. you know and and if your spouse isn't the closest person to you they ought to be you know <laughs> and um, but yeah it's 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 the best feeling in the world when uh, I can go out with Desiree <laughs> and we can be kids you yeah. know not care what time we get home you know not think about anything else but just each other and just have fun and do what we do you know like Desiree said there's not a whole lot of things that are open right now but things are opening up yeah. uh, we don't know what state you live in or what part of the world but um, you know be creative mm -hmm. you know and and there's there's fun that you can have whether it's a card game or a board game there's things you can do that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money you know but if you have the money and you can travel do it yes <laughs> so yeah that's that's just a big one that we've learned um, the next one is value your spouse so this one I mean it, it might seem like it's something that's common sense but you know it's all in the way that you treat your spouse you know when you value your spouse you're gonna treat them you're gonna treat them with the utmost respect care concern and love you know and you know 
unfortunately not everybody has that you know that we have known people that don't treat each other that way you know mm. and you know it's just something that we would take away and, and learn from and and say you know I don't want to be like that you know I want to value you I want to I want to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated and sometimes you might even have to have a conversation with each other and ask your husband or your wife and say hey you know if you're not sure you know the things that make them feel valued mm -hmm. you know we've done that yeah you know little things that we've come to find that we wouldn't have even really thought of but it's like oh you you like that you know mm. I, I like when you make me breakfast sometimes or mm -hmm. I like you, when you leave me coffee made in the morning you know or <laughs> that's just little things you know opening the car door you know um, noticing when they're sick and taking care of them and helping you know helping them with things it can be anything you know but it's just in, in a lot of times it's in those little things that you do the 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 attention that you pay to to all the little things you know it just it speaks volumes and it it does wonders for your marriage you yep, know and it tells your spouse that you're thinking of them yeah you know and those little things yeah so focus this one is I feel like this is a big one especially in the times that we're living in you know back 20 25 years ago we didn't have the cell phones and we didn't have the you know the tablets and the internet like we had i mean Good i think God, yeah. we just maybe started having the internet but it was it was nowhere like it is now we mm. we have so many things that pull at our attention that that call to us you know and we can get so so easily caught up with these things that we don't even realize that we're giving them so much attention and then at the end of the day you're giving your spouse your leftovers you know you might lay down in bed after you've been on your phone forever or whatever and then yeah. it's like you roll over and now you're dead tired and you just go to sleep you yeah. know and there's it's something we've dealt with yeah. you know we've dealt with that in our marriage and yeah. it's something that we've had to really um first of all admit i guess you know admit it and face it and realize that and secondly uh exercise discipline <laughs> yeah you know and and it's it, ha it hasn't always been easy i mean there's you know there was times where you know one of us had to tell the other you know babe i think you know maybe you're spending too much time on this or that it could even be video games you mm -hmm. know it's it can be so many things you know but it, be willing to hear from your spouse and be willing to be honest with yep. them and yourself and if, if they're coming to you and they're telling you, you know, I, I, I just want a little bit of time or can we just spend a little bit of time without this, you know, just pay attention and, and be willing to, to, to just, you know, work on it. Like Carl said, you know, make certain disciplines and, and just watch that, make sure that you're taking time with your spouse. You know, something that we had to make sure that we do every day, even mm. if it's, even if it's passing, you know, he's leaving to work or whatever, and we haven't seen each other 10, 15 minutes, just sitting down, yeah, just connecting face to face, yeah. just talking and in, in, in some real talk, you know, yeah. sharing, you know, what's going on with your, with you and, you know, your thoughts and stuff and, you know, go beyond that first, that surface talk, you know, yeah. but really, really try to um, put aside all that stuff. And it makes a huge difference you know a lot of people don't they think it's just the time we live in but it really doesn't have to be you know you are the ones who determine you know what you focus on what you pay attention to and how you spend your time and when you discipline yourself and you discipline how you spend your time and you make your spouse a priority like that they're gonna you're you're they're gonna be happier your marriage is gonna be happier you it's just it's going to change and shift the dynamic of your mm. relationship in a big way. Yeah. There's been moments where, you know, I'll just uh, tell on myself here <laughs> that, you know, I, sp I was spending way too much time on my cell phone. And, you know, one of the things that um, we did to um, help me out with that was I started leaving the cell phone outside of the bedroom when we went to bed. And... Little by little, as we started doing that on a daily basis, we found out that it it gave opportunity for us to talk um, that last hour prior to falling asleep or half hour, whatever, prior to falling asleep. And we had some great conversations and it was a way for us to connect. Yeah. Whereas before we weren't doing that. So, I mean, you know, that's just something to think about. You know, sometimes, you know, 
we live in a world where social media is just one of the biggest distractions, you know? And so, you know, whatever you have to do, you'd be surprised, you know? I mean, you think about it, do you really need to be spending all that time, you know, on your cell phone? You know, what are you really accomplishing, you know? Let's say your marriage is, is uh, needs a little help, you know, try it, <laughs> yeah. you know? Put that thing away, you know? Put that thing back where it came from, <laughs> you know? And um, I just thought of it. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. You know, make that time for each other. Take that time, set it apart for each other and and talk, connect, you know, and it will work wonders. It did in our marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, it helped us a ton, yeah. you know, and it, it made me realize so many things that I was missing out on mm -hmm. um, with my wife, with my kids, you know. So, you know, that's huge. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. For telling on yourself. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, that it's you know, just just take it take it and if it applies to you then you know, then work on it. And if not, then you know, good for you. <laughs> Keep going. But uh the last one we're gonna deal with today is serving one another. And this one is also um it's one of those things that seems small but it actually can make a really big difference. Yes. Um we found that with each other, you know, if you see that your spouse is, you know, they're doing, they're busy or something, you see that they haven't eaten or they might be thirsty. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of times when Carlos is working out in the yard or whatever, he might get so caught up and I'll try to remember to bring him a glass of water or something like that. Just because it's like, you know, I feel like he's probably thirsty. He's working in the yard, you know, I might be working from home, but I can take a minute and just run outside and get him water. You know, and when I'm working from home, sometimes he'll see that I have tons of meetings and I haven't gotten up from my seat for three hours. So he'll make me a meal or something, mm -hmm. you know, or sometimes I do the same, you know, he'll be, yeah. he'll be, um, getting up and doing stuff and we'll just, I'll, I'll ask him what he wants. I'll make him breakfast or something. And, yeah. you know, we both make dinner. He, he, he'll do it sometimes. I do it other times. And, you know, we've kind of, we've always said we're a little bit different than other people because, you know, we come from like old school where it was always the woman has to cook and the woman has to clean. And I always said, I'm sorry, but I'm kind of not that woman. I actually have a job and I have other stuff too. So what we call each other, we are Team Rosado and mm -hmm. we do things together mm -hmm. and whatever needs to be done, whoever can do it, we do it. That's and right. It makes a, sometimes it's me, sometimes it's her. Exactly, you know, and I love it. This man can cook. Let me tell you, <laughs> he can cook. <laughs> you know, and but it's you know when when you learn to do that with each other, it's just like it speaks so much. You know, it, it just it's like you're just throwing wood into your fire and yep. making that fire bigger. You know, yep. one of the things like if you're gifted in a, in certain areas, like I first of all, I I love to clean. You know, and I used to detail cars when I was a lot younger. <laughs> and so that's one of my uh, little gifts that I got. And I was just detailing Desiree's car today and just cleaning it up. And she appreciates it. Really it's did. just another way that you can serve, <laughs> you know, using your gifts yep. to, you know, help each other out. You yeah. know. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's good. And um before we finish, I just wanted to remind everybody, if you are on YouTube, to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends, uh, whoever you know that you might think get some, might get something out of this. And if you are on Facebook, share the page, share the video, go ahead and leave us a comment, say hi to us, and um, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and pray. Yeah. Father, we thank you for everyone watching right now we thank you lord for um, our viewers father we ask that you bless them we ask father god that you help them to um, keep these things in mind and father we just pray a special blessing over every marriage every home and we thank you father for the grace lord to serve one another to um keep each other uh uh in the forefront of, of their minds, Father God, Lord, to, um, to, to do, Father God, Lord, according to what you have demonstrated, Lord, uh, in the word, Father God, the things that, that even the things that Jesus has, has uh, demonstrated to us, Lord, 
the Bible talks about husbands loving your wives as Christ loved the church and gave, gave himself. Father, Lord, help us to give of each other, Lord, to, to, to give of one another, Father God, and to, and to be that blessing to each other, Father. Lord, I pray that, that um, we don't allow things to come to, to a crisis, Lord, and, and where uh, things are so bad that uh, we don't know what to do or, or who to run to, Father. But I pray, Father, that you help us, Lord, to, to pick up right where we are, Father God. Yes. I pray for the grace, Lord, uh, uh, an impartation of your grace and your favor, Father God, e even your mercy, Father, on every marriage right now, Father God, Lord, that we would, Lord, pick up, Father, right in this moment, Father God, and begin to implement these things, Father God, and begin to, to, uh, to do, Lord, as you guide us, Lord, as you lead us, Father, yes. Lord, that we would be that husband and that wife to each other that the other one needs, Father God. We thank you, Father, for your blessing. We thank you, Father God, that you are working, Lord, in every, everyone's marriage that is watching right now, Father God. You're, you're working in every home, Father God. And Lord, we ask you these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. God bless you. Bye. Hello. Hooray. <laughs> I don't even know how to start this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Um, so, we have two more little guests here today that just wanted to join in for the first part of our uh, video here. So, this is uh, yeah. Naya and Ezra. This is our niece and our nephew, our god kids. Yeah, they absolutely insisted we put them in the video. So, uh -huh. we did. <laughs> so you Baby! <laughs> how about a goofy face? All right, one for everybody. Mm. All right, there we go. All right, say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>